Welcome to the all-in Genesis Coupe build. And what I mean by that is I'm having a new motor built for the car. It's supposed to handle all kinds of boost and make crazy amounts of horsepower. So I decided to make the rest of the car able to handle that kind of horsepower that I'm expecting. From front to back, this is the line lock that allows you to secure the front brakes and let go of the rear brakes in order to warm up the rear tires. Then from there, I have the automatic transmission mount that's upgraded and stiffer than the original. I'm also having driveshaft.com build a custom drive shaft that's a four inch aluminum drive shaft. But after that, it can even possibly still fail even though it's rated up to a thousand horsepower. But this is going to be the drive shaft loop that goes in that's required by the track. Here we have the rear differential upgrade kit from ATQ. This has not only polyurethane bushings, but allows you to install the fourth bushing that Hyundai left out. From there, we have the high performance strut brace and these other boxes. Those uh, have the white line sway bars, sway bar front links and in links. And then we have the Neomax silver suspension. These are the, this is the divorced version with the coil overs and then also the rear coils or springs. And then from there, we just took out the axles. I'm gonna send those back in to driveshaft.com in order to be fortified with a 300M internal axle. So that's what I mean by all in.